Hello students, welcome back to Rosy Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 2 and question number 3 from chapter number 2 lines and angles given on page number 16. Name the line segments in figure 2.4. This is given as figure 2.4 in the textbook. Which of the 5 marked points are on exactly one of the line segments and which are on two of the line segments. So in this figure, first we need to find out how many line segments are there. So what is a line segment? A line segment has two end points. So we can see here we have line segment LM. This is one line segment MP and we show it like this segment LM segment MP line segment LM line segment MP PQ and QR so these are the four line segments we have now we need to find out which points are exactly on one line segment point L is on only this line segment LM we don't have L anywhere else right similarly if you see point R R is only on line segment QR right so we can see for the first one the answer is point L and point R these two points are exactly on one line segment the next part is which are on two of the line segments so if you see here point M point M is on LM as well as MP right M here also we have and here also so two places similarly P if you see it is on MP and PQ Q is on PQ and QR so we can see points M P and Q these three points are on two of the line segments moving on to question number three name the rays shown in figure 2.5 this is figure 2.5 in the textbook is T the starting point of each of these rays now the definition of rays is that it has a starting point and the other point would be anywhere on the path of the ray okay so this is the starting point and it moves forever to one direction and it will have one point it can have more than one points also on the same path so now here if you see the rays that we have is T A starting point is T starting point T so T A then we can say T B ray T B and N is also there one point right so we can say ray T N so we can say there are three rays here starting from T now is T the starting point of each of these rays? The answer is yes. Yes, T is the starting point of each of these rays. T A, T B and T N. That's all for now. See you all in the next video.